this. So this is the uh, <coughs> operational technology, it's called, industrial control systems, cyber physical systems. There's a lot of different names for these, but it is just different, if you can think about it, than your traditional email system that you have, which is traditional information technology. And so I have an example of kind of the difference in between IT, we really care about the confidentiality of the information that gets from uh, whoever sent you the email to making sure you have it and you can read it and it's what it is, right? But the difference for these OT or these other systems or that we live in is availability, right? We make sure that uh, they're available 24-7, right? Un uninterrupted, right? <clears throat> Some of these systems you can't take down, whereas a lot of times you push patches and things to your information technology, but your IT, uh, I, I mean, yes, your IT you can do that, but some of your OT uh, is difficult to do. So <clears throat> essentially, you know, your email functions, again, at the highest level, and you might have these systems all tied into that, uh, although a lot of these systems that might be standalone or not on the IT network still uh, are susceptible, right? If uh, you do a patch update and someone brings a USB drive to make the update or a DVD, if that's corrupted, then potentially your system could be corrupted. But essentially, so this graphic represents, yes, IT is a big deal, uh, but <clears throat> all the supporting infrastructure might be a, a bigger problem that we need to be uh, concerned about.